This is a complete outrage! Our rights as humans have been tested for too long! Oh, and soon! If we don't do anything to stop this, there's not gonna be an America anymore! Freedom of speech. Right to bear arms. And fair use. I think those are the main three things. Fair use, though, was stolen from us today! Fred? Where is everyone? By everyone, do you mean me and Nick? Uh, well, um... Yeah, I guess so. Where's Nick? Well, he kinda left, you know, so he didn't get sued at all, so... That's, I should be doing that too, but... You know, I got stuff here that I'd like to do. Like, you know... We can't get sued for it. It was under fair use, so that, that's the least that will happen. Though YouTube doesn't seem to agree with fair use, and yeah. For those of you who are not aware, there are exceptions for copyright, which go under something known as fair use, which means you're allowed to show clips from other movies, TV shows, or video games as long as you're doing it for review, with criticism, commentary, education, or parody. And YouTube doesn't seem to agree. You know, it hasn't been a very good week, you could say. Uh, Nick left. We're having copyright issues again. Uh, me and Mike haven't been getting along very well, but I know deep down inside the big guy wants me here. Fred, you are the most worthless piece of crap I've ever worked with in my life. This is probably your fault. Why didn't you fix this problem for us? You stupid little <laughs> Everyone knows that the person who's in charge of filming is the one who's supposed to deal with the copyright issues. I'm sick of you acting like you know everything, Mike. But I am, Fred. I am right. About everything. So, um... Episode 2, when we're no longer allowed to show movie clips or TV show clips, um, that's gonna affect the reviews a little bit, and uh, Pinsack we, doesn't we, even bother to show up. Show pictures. But what would be the point of that? Like, I would... Right, it just fine. wouldn't be as interesting, like, I... I let's just quit. Hmm. Let's quit the... Quit. Movie biz and show biz and all that biz. You know, I think you're right. You know, this is something I grew up loving, but now I'm realizing everyone in Hollywood is an asshole. So, it's been nice working with you, Fred. I hope you fucking die. The outdoor realm. You haven't seen it in so long. Why, why am I even wearing this hoodie? It's, it feels great out today. Uh, I'm wearing mine. You know what, Fred? Jobs can wait. We need to enjoy this day. Okay. I don't like being outside. Me neither. Wanna go back inside and be critics again? Yeah. Alright. 
Well, dude, it's good to be back. Yeah, it is. You know what we need? We need a big reunion special to acknowledge everything we've done in the past and how we're coming back. We do. So way back in 2014, me and Pinsack came together and started a brand new series called Rise of the Critics. Then we found our camera guy to be, um, we found our friend Fred to be our camera guy and equipment manager and this is <laughs> retarded. So now that we stalled for like half this video, let's actually talk about copyright. So there are two big viewpoints on copyright that both come from two completely different sides. One is, they already have enough money. All these bills are very selfish, they're just trying to ruin the internet for us. And in some cases, that's very true. But the other side says, oh, they're stealing money from us. We worked really hard on this stuff. If they keep downloading stuff on the internet, it just becomes bigger and bigger. We're all going to get screwed over. We're all not going to be able, we're not going to be able to do what we want to do anymore. And that side has some decent points. Now, with bills like SOPA and the many continuous attempts at making SOPA, there's a lot of greed. There's a lot of selfishness, and they worded it completely wrong, making it so fair use really doesn't matter. You're supposed to be able to do reviews, you're supposed to be able to do commentary, parody, what I've named before. It's supposed to be okay. Let me give an example of what's okay from big YouTubers and what's not okay from big YouTubers. Basically, pretty much who would be affected by this and who wouldn't be. Well, you got the Fine Brothers. They do a show called Kids React, YouTubers React, Others React, there's a bunch of different React series. But what they do is okay. They do show clips from other videos and they do it from actual movies or music videos. Why is it okay for them? Because they're doing it under commentary, so it's okay. Then you have people who actually upload movies to YouTube or other websites or TV shows or make it so you can see anything that you want to see that you're supposed to be able to pay to see. That's not okay because it's distributing things for free. And they're comes some irritation with film companies when you do that, and I think it's a little bit reasonable to be irritated by that. Well, once again, I know plenty of people who do this, and I don't have anything against them for doing it, but I am just trying to make the point that paying for stuff isn't that big of a deal either, because a lot of people actually do treat it like it's a big deal. I've read messages and comments from people saying, that's ridiculous, you're making us pay for this movie? I'm not gonna, I'm not paying for this, I'm just gonna go to Pirate Bay. Like, literally, I have seen this, like, there was a Dick Figures movie on Mondo Media, and people were furious that they had to pay to watch it. In fact, they didn't even have to pay to watch it. They could have just waited for it to be put up in parks on YouTube, but since they didn't want to wait, they bitched about it and bitched about it and bitched about it. Now, to the people who actually put this stuff online that can get in trouble for, or download this stuff online that can get in trouble, I think they both, um, have their good sides and bad sides. For example, I don't think anyone should ever care about a parody, a review, a cover of a song, a let's play, a discussion video, a commentary, or anything that really uses music in the background of their video. Though, when it comes to covers and using someone else's music in the background of a video, that is considered un not under fair use, so there can be issues with that. But then there's those people who upload movies for free online, upload TV shows online for free, make it so you can download video games, download music, all of it for free, and that's where the companies get mad, and I understand why they get mad about that. And yes, sometimes you can pull the argument off that they already have enough money, but if it gets worse and worse, eventually they're not going to. So in the end, I don't see anything changing for a long time on either side. For those of you who keep making reviews and stuff like that, expect to get me taken down from YouTube, but don't expect much else to happen. You're not going to get sued for it because there is fair use. I don't see anything happen to fair use anytime soon. They're going to keep trying to pass bills, but I don't think they're going to succeed. Though we should still try to go against those bills because the bills do take it too far. As for those big companies that really want online piracy to end and for stuff like that, it doesn't matter. It's not going to end. People already know it's illegal to download movies. No matter what you try to pass, nobody's really going to stop doing it. I don't download stuff online for free. I get why other people do it. It's not something I personally do. I either watch my movies on TV, Netflix, or just simply buy them. 
Same thing with my music or my TV shows or very few video games I play, not much of a gamer myself. No matter what, online piracy isn't going anywhere, and no matter what, bills to try to stop online piracy aren't going anywhere, at least not anytime soon. So. Just enjoy the internet for what it is. There's gonna be a lot of crap that goes on throughout the years. You could be a little bit less selfish and just give the money to the companies, but the companies could also be a little less selfish and just not make a huge deal out of every little thing that happens, such as a review that I made on the Duck Brigade. But I digress.